I bought this ice machine to use to fill my coolers when I go fishing or uh, just out to the sandbar and stuff like that. Uh, advertised to make about 120 pounds of ice a day and store a little over 30 pounds. I just uh, took the ice out of here and put it in my cooler a little bit ago. We're getting ready to go out. Uh, name brand is Vever. I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it, but got it from uh, Home Depot. Uh, it was like a little over 400 bucks. Uh, you know, I spend almost ten dollars on ice every time we go out and we go out several times a week so not to mention other things I need ice for so should save money if it lasts I thought it was a little bigger when I ordered it online uh, you know the pictures made it look a little bigger and it says it holds 30 pounds of ice uh, I'm gonna test that and find out I, I'm not sure if it does or not or you know if that includes somebody coming over here and kind of situating the ice uh, I'm not sure as you can see it's got a timer that's counting down so basically what that is is it's it counts down and when it gets to the end of that timer it switches into a different mode uh, where it's basically gonna let the ice fall down off of this and into here so that that'll take like 30 seconds. So when we when we get to the end of this six minute video or six minute timer, uh, the ice will fall, and then after that, I'll show you about how long it takes. You know, the timer will reset. I think it. Uh, I think the timer resets for like eight minutes, uh, and there's, you know, like I said, there's a couple of little shorter cycles that it has. So all in all, I think it takes roughly 10 minutes to drop ice and it's making uh, you know what 40 cubes or something so they're not huge cubes uh, you can adjust how solid they are you know how long it holds the ice before it drops it basically uh, you can make it hold it for like 25 minutes or a little less maybe than I have now I think maybe like five minutes or seven minutes I'm not sure this is about where I like to have it. Uh, the ice will hold pretty decent in the cooler. And uh, I guess it was an okay buy. I'd, I'd probably buy it uh, a little bigger if I did it again. Buy a little bigger ice maker. But I'm using a 55 quart cooler and another one that's probably a 77. And uh, I like to get them, you know, pre-chilled the night before. And then I like to add uh, ice the, the next day all the way to the top over everything I've got in there. So, you know, I, I need quite a bit of ice. So I don't know if this is something you're considering. Uh, maybe leave a comment and I might do a more in-depth video and see how fast I can produce a certain amount of ice. Uh, you know, if that's something you're interested in or like a more long-term review you know i just got it a couple days ago if you want to subscribe and check back i'll probably be doing that or if you want to uh like i said just leave any questions you have in the comment section i'll try to help as best i can all right well i think that's about the end of it i don't know if i'm going to keep this on for the next four minutes just holding it here but at the end of that four minutes another minute or so will pass by and then it'll uh, it'll drop some ice I can do a video showing how I installed it if uh, if there's any interest in that like I said just leave that in the comment section if that's something you'd be interested in uh, well, and I might actually end up getting the bigger one of these so if I do uh, you know like I said subscribe and you might see that video as well alright well I'm gonna end this now so y'all have a good day